Cancer, hello, Amanda here. Welcome to the Unseen Hands Collective. This is going to be your February shift reading. We're looking at the shape you're shifting out of this month, the shape you shift into, and what that shape shift looks and feels like. So Cancer, the, the um, image that's coming to me for you this month before we get into your cards is um, this idea of don't let the fire go out. So I'm seeing you like with this fire and you're stoking it and keeping it alive because once a fire goes out, it's very hard to um, restart it and bring it back up to full heat, full warmth. And there's something about like that fire needs to stay very much alive. It needs to stay hot enough. It needs to, to yeah, it needs to stay hot enough to keep you warm. And if you let it go out, you're gonna get too, it's like you're gonna get too cold and by the time you get it finally started back up again to a point where it's hot enough to warm you, it's like you, it's too late, you know, you're already too cold. Um, so that's an interesting idea to be working with. Let's look at your cards. We're using the slow holler tarot this month. You're shifting out of t this temperance energy, which in this deck is called the alchemist, and you're shifting into the seven of stones earth energy and I'll explain that in a moment I, I want to show you what the shape shift looks and feels like we're looking at the four of swords the knight of cups and the two of pentacles this knight of cups is you this is the main player in this story and here's how I'm seeing it here's the water realm down here cancer this is your water sign this is your um comfort space. This is where, you know, this is like a big part of who you are. This is the environment that you are used to dwelling in, the water, this emotional, internal feeling type landscape. Somehow this month, Cancer, it's like you've been pulled up and out of that environment and now you're into the air. You know, we have a lot of energy in Aquarius, a lot of planets in Aquarius this month, so it makes sense that air energy is so present, specifically um, through this Knight of Cups, which I'm enjoying um, in these shift readings. But so it's like you've been taken up and out of the water and, and you've got a little component of the those that internal, that emotional, that heart energy. It's like you the, the fish in the fishbowl. You know, you're carrying that part of yourself with you. This it feels like a very vulnerable part of yourself. Thinking that you were gonna, you know, get on this horse up in the air and be able to move forward towards land, you know, towards the earth. This is where the Knight of Cups wants to move towards the Seven of Stones where things are like solidly in place, rooted, grounded on, on land. <clears throat> but I'm getting that that's not happening. I'm getting that like you've pulled yourself up out of your comfort zone comfort zone, and you thought you'd be able to move forward quite quickly and that's, that's not the case. And so it's like you're left hanging. Like something is, is suddenly hanging and it's like, if you imagine getting up in the air and thinking that the wind would kick up and be and carry you and it hasn't and you're like suddenly very aware of gravity and very aware of your weight as you're hanging up here that you could just like free fall or drop, there'd be maybe this moment of panic. And that's kind of what I'm feeling in this um, in this reading is that, you know, especially with the four of of swords, it sort of feels like stress. You know, it feels like those mental tapes playing over and over again, processing, 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 like, oh crap, I thought whatever this was in my life was ready to take me forward and apparently it's not. And now I'm feeling super naked and vulnerable and out of my element wondering, did I misjudge that? Is it not going to move forward like I thought it was? And here's what I'm getting, Cancer. With the two of stones and the, to the seven, you know, it's like, here's, here's more energy of something hanging in the balance. It's like you are being held up in the air. You're being held in place because there's one more um, stone that has to fall into place. You know, it's, it's almost like this butterfly lands on this teetering choice maybe, or this this final 
element that has to get worked out. And as soon as it does, it's just like something so light and delicate, tips the balance, the final stone, you know, falls into place, maybe this like center stone, the core thing that would bring it all together. And then it's like, once all the stones are in place, it's all set, then you'll have a more solid place to move from. But there's still, it's like, it's like maybe emotionally, whatever, whatever this is situation is for you, you were feeling ready. Like you finally got your emotional space to a point where you were ready for this to move forward. And the earth element is taking a little longer to catch up. You know, it's like you got yourself emotionally ready. You were ready to go. You pulled yourself up out of the water. Okay, let's go. And all of the elements are not in place. There's something still to be worked out in the tangible realm before whatever this is, is ready for you or could hold you or is like, the final, I don't know, piece of the puzzle that allows you to move forward. And so Cancer, what I'm getting here with the alchemist, because what's interesting about this, this temperance energy is the blend, blending. There's a lot of elemental energy here, blending fire and water, which then creates steam, which is like air. And so there's this, you know, and also the temperance energy for me can sometimes be um, the alchemy that is happening in ways we cannot see. You know, like the the elements that are going on behind the scenes that need to fall into place that we are just not aware of and couldn't be aware of. So, Cancer, while you are hanging out up here, try not to panic, find trust. Trust in what is happening where you cannot see. Trust that there is like a final thing that needs to fall into place and that it is happening. And it sort of feels to me like your one job, your one job this month while you're hanging in the balance is to keep the fire element alive. You know, remember in the beginning, I, I saw this fire, keep the fire stoked, keep it alive. Keep the fire alive because in order for this alchemical process to happen, in order for whatever this alchemical process that somehow like tips that final stone into place for you, it needs the, the fire element as much as it needs the water and the air for that matter. It's interesting, we have fire, or fire, air, water, and then it's like there's, where's the earth in this card? It's here, it's where you're going. It's, it is sort of the missing element. You're waiting on, you know, the earth realm to me is like the human experience, the tangible realm. You're waiting on something very tangible and, and sometimes those tangible things happen a little bit slower. You're emotionally ready, you're spiritually ready, you're like ready to go. You know, but it's like sometimes things take a little longer in the tangible realm, in the earth realm. So you're waiting on that final element. Keep the alchemy alive. Keep it going. Keep the fires of your heart and your spirit stoked for whatever this is. It's like keep yourself warm. Keep your, your blood pumping. Keep yourself alive and excited and um you know, because it's like, if the fire goes out, I keep getting this image of you being cold, you know, like getting back into sort of a cold, frozen, and like cold to me can sometimes feel like lacking in blood flow or lack, like devoid of life. Like don't let yourself sink. Keep it alive, keep it up, keep it stoked. I know it's, it's tough to do while you're like, <laughs> you know, you're like holding the fire in your hand, you know, it's like much harder to keep it alive in the, like out of its grounded element. Keep it alive. Don't panic and trust because something is in the works to fall into place. That's kind of just what it feels like. And then you'll have this solid ground to move towards. Ooh, Cancer, this is such an exciting and interesting story that's coming out for you this month. Um, you know, uh, Kevin, Kelsey and I talked about this 
energy for you in depth over um, in our weekly meetings at the collective. And I have a lot more to share with you about what came through, what Kevin and Kelsey saw in these cards. Um, and then we're also going to use other decks to jump into um, clarifying these cards in depth. So if you would like to join me for this deeper dive, the extended part of this reading, you can click the link in the description box below and that will take you over to unseenhandscollective.com. You can find the extended reading in our shop also through the monthly memberships. Um, and I really hope you'll join me for this if this is resonating for you because I'm curious as to where this is leading. Um, so Cancer, um, you should also know that this is only one third of your monthly shift energy. This is just the tarot portion. We also have the astrology person through uh, the astrology energy through Kevin's shift scopes. So loop, you know, it's an, it's an audio podcast type thing that you can listen to, to loop in the planetary influences for you in February. And then Kelsey created a guidebook to help you kind of journal your way through whatever happens for you this month and how it relates to these shift insights. So if you want the full package, again, unseenhandscollective.com, that's where you can explore this shift energy for February. All right, Cancer, thanks for being here. We'll talk to you soon. Queen of fire on the bottom of the deck. Instead, you know, it's like, this is past energy, the five of cups. This is past feelings of loss, grief. I think what's happening here is that like, whatever this is, you feel like it's not moving forward and maybe you're panicking that you're going to lose it because you have lost things in the past. And so there's this like past trigger almost of like grief response prematurely rising up in you. And it's like, hold on, Cancer, maybe you don't have to totally let this go. Maybe you don't have to start mourning before you have lost it, you know? And like, again, maybe that's a mirror for you about um, some past emotional energy that's ready to, to heal and ready to leave your experience. It's like, let go. That's really what the Five of Cups says is let go and trust. Like you need to see your fire. So it's almost like taking you out of your emotional space, okay, which is that old shell you've been in, okay? The old shell that you've been in and f extracting you from that, okay? Because this eighth house Aquarian energy relates directly to that Taurian energy, not just because Taurus and Aquarius naturally square each other. So it's a natural friction, which is a Mars energy, okay? That square is a Martian energy. It's something that needs to initiate. It needs to generate. It needs to spark some kind of movement. 